question mam, bakit ang mga endurance athletes hirap mag Kasi it's a cardiovascular workout. It's an endurance training. You're gonna, you're not gonna build your muscles there. You're gonna, sometimes pang ginagamit pa yung muscles just to sustain the activity. You need resistance training to build your muscles, to give you shape. Mapansin yung mga, it's just a sad, nang dami kong friends na nagka-cardio, yun nang talaga, nagra-run, nagta-triathlete, they're so small. And mga clients ko, mga triathletes, and I handle them with fitness yoga, pulatis, pero yun ang gusto nila eh. That's their adrenaline eh. So, they feel good with their body. But for me, I prefer guys who have muscles and have shape. Pag, pag ano ka, endurance yung training, maliit ka talaga. Sad lang. Ito. But that's what they like. So, okay lang din. Yeah. Kung mapansin mo rin din yung mga maliliit na muscles, yun din silang... Do that's what I want to say. Yung magaling mo sila. Sabi ni ano ni LC, magwo-walking na daw siya every day. Ah, gano'ng kalayo ba? Gano'ng ano yung distance na dapat i-walk namin every day? Mag-uumpisa na ako bukas eh. Um, you can start with like 30 minutes. Easy walk. I don't suggest na yung walk na ganyan, me. You may not see me walk na nag-marathon walk. I'm easy walk. I walk my dog, ganun lang talaga. Like enjoy the environment, move ganyan. Tapos Yung two hours ko, minsan kasi binigyan ako ng daughter-in-law ko ng counter. So, minsan yung 10,000 steps dyan, abot ng three hours. So, mga ganyan, one hour na easy lang ba? Stress-free. O kasi, walking is, um, para na rin siyang resistance training because you're using your body weight there. And you're using your large, large muscles. Your buttocks, your thighs, ganyan, your calves. Malaking muscles ginamit nun. Kaya I suggest walking better than biking. Yung biking, parang gawin mo na lang yun siyang recreational sports mo, but not your basic workout. Kasi sa bike, there's no resistance eh, unless you will use that resistance sa bike. But most of the, ta the time, you will not use that. But walking, you really use your ano, there, muscles. The best talaga for me, when you start to work out, walking. Then next time, I will teach you like, you can do air squats, air lunges, ganyan. Like sakit sa bahay lang, like, like this one, di ba? Can you see me? Okay, so when you're walking, you're done with your... Kung nag-walking na kayo, tapos malakas na yung feeling niya, you can do like air squats sa bahay. Like, dapat proper posture. Posture, ganun. Paano ba ba yung... Slow and controlled, hindi yung mabilisan. Ayan. And then, mga lunges. Dito. I prefer to work out bare feet kasi I can really feel the ground being stable ako. So, ganyan. Ito. This is very nice. Most of the time, sa gym, hindi nagawa ko kasi mahirap siya. Kasi it uses large, large muscles. So, you do this. Ito, malaking muscles na ginagamit mo. Body weight ka muna, walang, walang bit bit, right? And other side. Ito, mahirap na ito kung bago ka pa lang dito. Malakit na yung, sakit na yung mga inner thighs, ganyan. Ganon. Then, wider, tapos mag-walking lunges ka na sa bahay. Malang walking lunges, ganon. Tapos yung mga knee up or kukuha ka ng chair or bench. Ito. Yan. Lagay mo. Squat ka na. <laughs> Parang pagkain ito. Okay. Let's go. Please squat. Kasi yun ang mag-workout. You're using large muscles with that. 
So yun ang mga isusunod mo after your walking. Mga ganun. Air squats, lunges, street squat. Later on, mag malakas ka na. So may bubuhatin ka na. Or may buhatin ka ng dumbbell or whatever. So ang bawa. Malik muna. Ganito. Tawa ka na ng dumbbell. Ganyan. Ganon. Ganon. Kasi you'll be using, you'll be using large muscles already. Here. All the way down. Pati din sa taas. Kasi you're gonna engage your core. Ningal nga ako, yun lang, di ba? So, maraming magawa na hindi naman kailangan mag-gym. Yeah. Yan, ang galing. Grabe, ang sexy ni Ma'am Lynn. <laughs> Sabi ni, may mga naka-relate dito na si Ma'am Kat kasi uh, meron siyang problem sa kanyang paa dati. Nalaglag yata siya sa hagdan. So, parang yan po yung naalala niya na ginawa niya. Ayun. Ah, ganyan, daw yung, ganyan daw po yung therapy niya sa paa niya. Ayun, mm-hmm. pero ang tanong niya dito, Ma'am Lynn, ilang beses daw po gagawin yun? Yung halimbawa, katulad nung pinakita niyo. Yung mga lunges, lunges, okay. squats, you can do it every other day. Kasi hindi naman siya taxing masyado sa katawan. So you can do it. Ako naman kasi, I feel me. Like sa halimbawa, sore pa ako, I will not work it out. Kasi it's still recovering. Ganun ako, I, I, hindi ako sadista sa sarili ko. I'm very caring to my body. Pag hindi niya feel sore ako, hindi ko yan i-workout. I respect my body. So kung feel mo na sore pa, masakit mo, may workout, napalang hindi. Kasi nagre-recover pa eh. Yan ang suggestion ko. Kasi pag sa gym ka, pag may program ka, ganito, ganito, ganyan. So ang ginagawa namin, yung split namin yan, like, ngayon, legs, and saka bad. So bukas, shoulders or ano, upper body para hindi maulit mo na ito. Kasi matagal mag-recover yung large muscles. It's like four days, three days, depende sa age, ganyan. So, if feel mo yung katawan mo, um, oy, okay na. Kunti na. Di, ba, ulitin mo yun. Ganun. Ayan. So, si LC Channel, try na daw niya mag- maglalakad kasi <laughs> hirap din siya kahit yeah. maglalakad. Sobrang But ano na niya. Body talaga. Kasi ngayon, po na lang kakaupo. Opo. Walking. Actually, kami din po ni Ma'am Ria, parang lagi lang kami nakaupo sa bahay. Yeah. <laughs> Work from home. <laughs> so, yeah, diba? parang hindi namin nagagawa yung mag-exercise po, Ma'am Lynn. Yeah, kahit sa bahay, so, computer po, lang tawa, may home. Opo, computer lagi. Computer, maghapon po kami nag-computer. <laughs> so, ako nga, sabi na ng kuya ko, ay gusto mo magano, may nag-offer ng job sa'yo kasi pa nag-hinto na ako ng, dra- ng work sa sa business na hanap ko nung pandemic. So, busy lang ako dun sa, ano, sa rest house ng kuya ko. Dun ang, ay, may offer na job sa'yo. Ganito, ko, I don't want to work na mag-upo ako. Gusto ko work to busy. Ganun. So, na, 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 na-realize ko yun. Mas click ako dun. So, alin ba ako? Nasa bahay ka, pwede mo gawin yung work mo sa kamay. Ganyan. Di maglakad-lakad ka konti dyan. Lalo na yung mas kung nag-computer work ka, tapos sinaantok pa, bakod ka, sandig ka konti, tapos walk-walk ka konti dyan, ganyan. Yeah. Yo, And how, about, how about muscle pains? Uh, what do you do with muscle pains kapag na-push yung sarili? Yung panibawa nag-workout ka na, nag-resistance training ka, tapos yung muscle pain ka, you wait for it to subside talaga. Yung parang... Saka, saka mo siya ibalik na workout na parang konti na lang yung pain. Yung parang wag mo i-rework out siya na may sore pa talaga na masakit siya. Don't ever do that. Kasi minsan kasi sa gym ganyan eh. At, 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 masakit ba lalo ano? Your muscles will not repair. Kasi your muscles will repair para mag-grow. Kung gawin mo yan, wala. Ma-injured ka lang. Oo. So let it rest and grow. And, um, kasi mag-stronger siya lalo. So, ipahinga. Pero, actually, na-observe ko yan. Pag madali ding magka-muscle pain, pag kulang yung nutrition, yung kulang yung protein intake, ganyan. 
So it's really like for me, you can only work out when you you will know which way, you know. Lalo na malalaki kasi you want to be seen as strong tapos mas malakas kayong bumuhat, ganun. So kailangan bakapan mo talaga yun kung ano dapat mo nutrition. Ayun. So kung may muscle pain, huwag mo nang bumalik kung masakit pa talaga. Pero kung tingle na lang na konti, pwede na bumalik. May question po si Ma'am Kat, Ma'am Lynn. Ano, ano po ang workout po, Ma'am, para lumiit ang, yung chan po or puson sa mga babae? <laughs> okay. Mostly, actually, girls really gain there. Oh, actually, may iba rin mga katawan na from the head down to your toes. Pero common yan sa atin. Nadito tayo nagigain sa belly. So, yung wala namang workout na makapagtanggal nun. Kahit gawin pa nating 1,000 ab workout, hindi yan liliit ka agad. But it has an, an effect konti. Pero generally, to lose body fat in the body, especially in the belly, we really have to check how you eat. And usually, mga belly fat, especially sa girls, it is gained because of sugar intake high carbohydrate intake, at saka yung mga wrong food timing, mga ganyan. So largely talaga it's because of insulin resistance. So yung mga sugars, carbs, sobrang carbs, sobrang sugars, mga ganyan. Ayun. So thank you po, ma'am, for that. Wala po lang magic dyan. Tawa na sa amin, lagi kami nakaupo. So, yung puson lagi ang problem. <laughs> Actually, kahit na hindi ka nakaupo, pag wrong yung food intake mo, you really gain there. Kasi babae tayo. Eh. That's where we gain. That's where we gain sa chan all the way to the hips. Ganyan. Mm -hmm. Sa mga arm. Ganon. Mm -hmm. Ang male naman, they don't gain here sa hips or sa thighs. They gain in the belly. 